making funeral arrangements and healing come first for this family. An Indianapolis mother and grandmother, she wants to start a conversation. She wants to be part of the solution. This is Curtis Wooden's favorite picture. And this is his favorite woman, Latricia. They've been married for two years. And now he's depending on his bride to make sure he's not forgotten. Y'all need to stop killing each other and start loving one another. Just love on each other. It's, it's a senseless stuff. Get a job. That's what he did. He worked. Just get a job and take care of yourself and quit trying to take things that don't belong to you. You know, m my car, I work. I've been on my job 18 years. I make money to take care of my business. And he did too. He didn't need to take nothing from us or anyone. No, it just needs to stop. Curtis was on his way to play the Daily Three Hoosier Lottery on Thursday after seeing the film Fences. Wait, Corey, I want him to help me with this fence. The couple heard the number yeah, 651 during the movie and thought, why not? On his way to play those numbers, he was shot and killed outside the Wellington Village Apartments. His vehicle stopped after striking this tree not far from his home. That's sickening. It's just sickening when you can't go outside your door. You got to be scared like me. I'm scared. Latricia has too much on her mind to think politics. But I asked her about what she would say to the mayor and the new police chief. She wants to talk to them and help them encourage others to speak up and assist police with unsolved murders and the violence in city neighborhoods. I'm not afraid at all. I got Jesus. He's the only one I, can, I trust. It has been a painful new year for the family and friends from work. Uh, Curtis worked at the Reebok facility in Indianapolis for the past eight years. Now, in coming weeks, Latricia wants to join others in speaking up for the survivors and the victims of violence. And late this afternoon, the mayor's office passed along an email. They said they're interested in meeting with her to hear what she has to say.